Hey fellow gold winners, it's Secret Tartar, and before I will start this video, I want to send quick but big thanks to my latest Patreon, Frankie Moreno. Thank you a lot, mate. And that into the topic, how to craft the new weapons and how to get the legendary version of those weapons. First, just quick reminder, uh, in order to unlock most of those weapons, you need to basically finish a questline for either the crater, raiders, or if you scroll map back down, or the foundation, the settlers. Then you need to finish main questline for one of those factions to unlock most of the stuff. The exceptions are both that unlock very early. And let's jump straight into it. If you want to craft your first bow, you need to take a plan. If you are looking for the plans and you know want to know who's selling what kind of the plan, then check my latest video that I did just before this one. And now, for whatever reasons, the bows are considered a machine guns. Then yes, it's in here. And you can just craft. After you buy a plan, you can just craft a bow. There is not much requirements. There is actually a bunch of scrap, but that's not hard to get. And you craft your bow, whatever level you like. It's going up every five levels, unlike other weapons every ten. You craft it, and you got it. And then you just go into your inventory. Under weapons, I do have a bow. It's normal bow, not a legendary one. And in this case, if you want a legendary bow, then basically you need to have a plan and you need to try your luck with a purveyor. It's the same if you consider compound bows. Then all this stuff you can get from the purveyor after you unlock the plans. And basically like all other weapons that were added before Wastelanders. The bows are exception. Every other new weapon and armor you cannot get from Purveyor. If you go to Purveyor, you will not get those new weapons even if you unlock the plans. But you still need to visit Purveyor. And if you are looking for the Purveyor, I don't want to forget and tell you, the Purveyor lives in here now, the Rusty Peak. She's inside. And if you want to craft any other new weapon, you need to go there and buy yourself legendary modules. One legendary module is 50 script. And then, if you have your plan that you want to craft, you go as always to the workbench, like I have one of the energy guns, the new one, Ghost Pistol. And now you can see it's different. If you go to craft it, you do not see a picture of a weapon. You see this loot crate. What does it mean? It's similar like Vault 94 armor. After you craft it, it will be random legendary weapon. It's why there are question marks. It will be random legendary weapon. You don't know if this will be two star, three star, what kind of stars will be there, what kinds of legendary effect, you know nothing. And it will cost you, apart from normal materials that crafting requires, it will additionally cost you two legendary modules per craft. And as usually there is some requirement into your pair cards that you need to have equipped. Other thing you need to know, it will be always the maximum level. As you can see, you cannot choose a level of the weapon in here. Let me just craft one now. You press, you craft, you pay for it, then go into your weapons and look for it. Oh, there it is. That's the one I just crafted. Ghoul Slayer's Ghost Pistol. So you can see damage to ghouls, damage while aiming, plus one agility. You do not have control over that. And it's not a guaranteed restart. At least what I heard. It is possible to get something weaker, like a two star or maybe even one star, I don't know. But I heard from other people that it's possible to get a two star weapon for sure. Then I was lucky to get a three star, but I was unlucky it's a ghoul slayer. Now additional, very important information. Those items are character specific, you cannot trade them. Uh, I will show you in a second what does it mean. Okay, we have a container. I need container to demonstrate. Now, if I go in here, it there is no special mark on it. But if I try to move it into the container, you see, in the corner, you cannot store it here. You cannot move it into the container. You cannot trade it with other player. You cannot transfer it to any other of your characters. This is character bound. If I crafted it on this character, I can use it only on this character. Only thing I can do it with this weapon if I don't want it, it's to go to Purveyor, to any vending machine and script it. I can 
put it back into the script machine and script it to at least salvage some of the script used to craft it. But I cannot trade it with anyone. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. I will try to answer as many as it's possible. And now, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.